Hello, I am Will Nolan, Head of Classics at Old Palace School. We teach three classical subjects at A-Level at Old Palace, Classical Civilization, Classical Greek and Latin. Classical Civilization is the study of ancient Greek and Roman literature, culture, thought and art. In this course, students complete three modules, the world of the hero, Greek theatre and the politics of the late Roman Republic. Over the two-year course, the students explore the culture of the ancient world by reading texts in translation. We study the poems of Homer and Virgil, the speech of Cicero, and Greek tragedy and comedy. Through these texts and their contexts, we engage with a wide range of issues that are still prevalent in the modern world. These include the responsibility of politicians to keep the power of their colleagues in check, whether honesty should always be the best policy, and the reasons why we admire and elevate celebrated figures in society. The students enjoy classical civilization because they can explore modern values through the lens of ancient ones. There is also an element of escapism. The myths we study include some wild and fantastical scenes from the magic spells of Circe to a chorus of singing frogs. The joy that comes from learning about these wonderful sequences is as valuable as the excellent results the students gain. Classical Greek is the study of the Greek world through language and literature. The students build on their language and vocabulary knowledge obtained at GCSE level and work with more complex passages and constructions. For the literature examinations, the students read a selection of works in the original Greek, including Homer, Plato, Lysias and Sophocles. Students enjoy these lessons as we are able to weigh up and consider the real thoughts and words of the ancient Greeks. A-level Latin allows students to achieve linguistic mastery of this challenging language. By the end of year 13, students are able to independently translate extended passages of prose and verse, as well as translate complex English sentences into Latin. Alongside the linguistic aspect of the course, students explore the Roman world through literature. Developing skills learned at GCSE, students translate, analyse and discuss verse and prose literature. By exploring the mythological poetry of Virgil's Aeneid and the forensic oratory of Cicero, the students gain an in-depth understanding of the Roman psyche and are able to evaluate modern Britain in comparison to ancient attitudes. The Classics Department prides itself on the enrichment opportunities offered to students. Students of all classical subjects are members of Symposium. This is a sixth form society that meets once a half term. The society read a text or review material evidence from an area of the ancient world not covered in examination requirements. There is then a discussion after school in the long gallery attended by all classical students and teachers. This society allows students to explore more unusual areas of the ancient world and provides them with the skills they'll use at university. Discussions have covered Greek tragedies with happy endings, Roman coins and the links between the Great Gatsby and Petronius's Satyricon. The department also run theatre trips throughout the year, day trips to museums and galleries, trips to lecture days designed to support specific modules and intern internal and external essay competitions. Classical subjects are recognised by universities and, and employers as rigorous and challenging subjects that set students aside from the rest both on paper and at interview. Students of classical subjects can go on to study classics, law, history, politics, medicine, modern languages or anything else. Classics opens many doors and closes none. Students of classical subjects leave Old Palace sixth form with a resilience that comes from studying challenging subjects, a hunger for learning and an appreciation of culture and literary heritage. I really liked Class Civ GCSE and then it just seemed the natural progression to do Class Civ A-Level. I chose Classical Civilization for A-Level because I really enjoyed it at GCSE and I wanted to continue at A-Level. It also worked really well with all my other subjects. I think Class Civ is a nice mix of like English and history and I've always really liked history and um, like the myths and stuff. So it's just pretty much everything about it, to be honest. It's one of those subjects that I can't pick one thing that I like more than the other. I think I really enjoy studying about the Odyssey. I think it's my favourite part. Um, the whole of like Odysseus's journey really like interests me. I think one of the biggest difference about class of A-level to GCSC is the amount of literature. In GCSE, the Odyssey course was only a tiny bit, whereas in A-level, it's one of the main sections, that and the Aeneid. Um, 
as well as that there's a lot less like fact learning which in some ways is good um there is one aspect where you do politics which is a lot of facts but other than that it's a lot more like literature um at a level you learn about a different aspect of roman and greek life for example in gcse we did improper women whereas at a level we do something different for example like greek theater In the Greek theatre course, we do the Bacchae Frogs, which is a comedy, and Oedipus Rex. Um, I think of those, my favourite is probably the Bacchae. I can't really compare the Bacchae and Frogs or the Oedipus and Frogs because it's a very different experience re uh, reading a comedy and reading a tragedy. But I think I really like the violence in Bacchae. I know that sounds like morbid, but in comparison to the Oedipus, which is a lot more written and explaining, in Bacchae there's a bit more showing. Although in um, ancient Greece you couldn't actually show violence on stage. Classive lessons are quite different in A-level than they are in GCSE. Um, first of all, the lessons are a lot, um, or the class sizes are a lot smaller. At the moment, it's just me studying it, whereas in GCSE, I think there were six of us. Um, it also feels like you're a lot older when you study A-level, and obviously you are, but just the way that the lessons are structured is a bit more what I'd expect university to be like, um, just discussion. At GCSE, there was obviously a lot more people doing classive, whereas at A-level, um, it's only just me. However, I feel like with three teachers, I feel like I have like the support I need. One piece of advice I'd give is the facts that you do learn, make sure you learn them. In Greek theatre you have different factual knowledge questions at the start of the paper and it's very important to know these because it's easy marks that are very easy to pick up. And I'd say probably factual learning is probably one of the most important things and the biggest piece of advice I'd give you. I think when studying the books to like know the characters and like key themes and stuff because it's really important when writing like essays.